Tonight's flavor is Road Trip from the Ice Cream Club. This could be the last review you see from me for a good while. Now, I don't mean to sound grim, uh, but as of 5 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time, Hurricane Irma was barreling pretty much straight for where I live. Now, I'm not saying I'm going to wipe off the face of the planet, but uh, power outages are very likely, and I cannot guarantee you that uh, I'll be able to get your computer for a while. Fingers crossed that nothing bad happens, but with the nature of these storms and the, and the nature of a, a storm of this size, this magnitude, this strength, you know, uh, there's going to be some damage, and all we can do is roll with the punches and hope for the best. But anyways, let's keep it light. Let's talk about ice cream, shall we? If I'm going to go out, I want to go out on a hopefully good note. This is the last of my ice cream club flavors. Now, before I get into this one, I have to say, I'm very impressed with the Ice Cream Club. Uh, they're not a craft ice cream. They're, I'd say they're like a Ben & Jerry's type company, Ben & Jerry's quality. I'd say that if you order, don't expect you know, salt and straw or ample hills. Uh, expect some fun, pretty basic flavors with some, some strong mix-ins. And uh, the base ice creams, I think, are the weakest aspect of the company's portfolio. But, uh, you know, could do worse for sure. And the price isn't that bad. Road Trip is chocolate ice cream with brownies and peanut butter. It doesn't really get much better than that, does it? Getting some peanut butter half-baked vibes. Maybe you guys remember that, you old school Ben & Jerry's fans. We're not really old school. If you've just been around long enough, it came out like two or three years ago. It was a limited batch. Awesome flavor. So peanut butter swirls, I think. Brownies, chocolate ice cream. Let's do it. It is most definitely a peanut butter swirl. It's a crunchy, salty... Oh man. Ooh. Ooh. This is a good one so far. As you guys can see there, that crunchy peanut butter sore up top there. The ice cream is uh, milk chocolate, not dark, obviously. I would like it better if it was dark, but I'm such a dark chocolate slut. I'm really just biased. Check that spoonful out, guys. We got we got brownie, we got peanut butter. Mm. I just had to take a break to adjust my lighting setup. It's very dark and gloomy in here because it's dark and gloomy outside. So anyways, let's continue eating this delicious ice cream you can see here. Look at that. You got brownie chunks, peanut butter's in there. I'm enjoying this one a lot. Brownie chunks are thick, chewy, and delicious. Ice Cream Club does mix-ins very, very well. I'm getting lots of brownies at this point. I wish I had a little bit more peanut butter swirl, but I'm just being picky. All right, let's wrap this one up. This is a simple but nearly perfectly executed flavor. Really, really good ice cream here, guys. The milk chocolate base is actually not the weak point that I thought it would be. I was concerned that it was just milk chocolate. I'm not really a big milk chocolate guy. Ice Cream Club is not known for its... No, amazing bases, but I gotta say, I did not mind it here. The thick, chewy uh, brownies, there were so many of them in here. Love that. But uh, surprisingly enough, the reason I cannot give this flavor a perfect score was because of the peanut butter. When I got the peanut butter, it was spectacular. Try, I mean, I, I loved the combination. When you got the peanut butter, the brownie, ice cream together, it was Bananas, but problem was I might have had three or four spoonfuls of, of good peanut butter swirl and uh, it was the rest was just brownies now Obviously nothing wrong with brownies and chocolate ice cream, but that's not what I signed up for I want a peanut butter brownies and ice cream With that said, I think that if you like peanut butter and chocolate, you're gonna like this flavor There's a decent amount of it, but it was not the blow away classic flavor could have been. It just needs a little more peanut butter to get to that upper tier. Still, good, fun little ice cream. And if it's the last one I ever have, well, it's not too bad. I give this one a 9 out of 10. Thanks for watching, guys. Hopefully, I'll uh, see you on the other side of this. Let's go!